Korea and Japan appears to be taking steps to address their long strained relations. But will their actions be enough to ease the ongoing diplomatic feud over historical and territorial issues? Our Hwang Sung Hee reports. A rare show of cultural diplomacy between Korea and Japan is raising hopes for improved relations between the two neighbors. Sitting side by side, Foreign Minister Yoon byung sae and Japanese Ambassador to Korea Koro Betsho enjoyed the 2014 Korea-Japan Festival in Seoul on Sunday. This marked the first time Minister Yoon attended the annual event. Holding these events more frequently will not only improve relations between the people of the two countries, but also of the two governments. On the sidelines of the festival, the two diplomats discussed ways to mend their strained ties, which have tumbled to a new low in recent years due to disputes over historical facts. We both agreed, well, we had a little chat afterwards, that uh, next year should be a special year in which uh, Japan and Korea should make a fresh start towards a closer and friendlier relationship. The meeting comes amid speculation about a possible summit between President Park Geun-hye and Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe on the sidelines of the APEC summit in November. The two leaders have not held a bilateral meeting since taking office. But whether these cultural exchanges will be enough to break the ice between President Park and Prime Minister Abe still remain to be seen. Hwang Sang-hee, Arirang News.